Hey everybody, Can't Get Tuna here with another Christmas video. And well, you may be wondering, what am I going to show you today? Well, I'm going to show you the Magic the Gathering deck I used when I was in high school. I call it my Fox deck, though I wish I had more foxes than I do now. Uh, but anyway, let's get started. I have six mountain. I'll show off the shiny ones. Shiny. Not shiny. That's six mountains. I have nine planes because me most of all the kitsunes I have are white. So yeah, there's that. I have a Boris Garrison which comes into play tap, and I have to return a land I control to the hand, but it adds me a red and a white mana. So yeah. Then I have three snow-covered mountains which is for the snow and one snow covered plane now let's start with the equipment I have a slagworm armor which gives equip plus zero plus six I got Onagi Nata which can only be attached with a creature with three or more power it gives them plus three plus zero I have Volshock battle gear which costs three and gives the equipped creature plus three plus three and I have mirror golem I love it I used to love this card it has imprint which means it remove target and it gets protection from each other printed so if you imprint an attachment enchantment or an instant it's immune to instants and stuff so mirror golem yeah now to the reds I know. When are you going to get to the foxes? I don't know. I'll save these for last. I have a Galvanic Arc, which costs three in check creature. When Galvanic Arc comes into play, it deals three damage to target creature or player. Enchanted creature has first strike. First strike means it attacks first, I think. I don't know. I haven't played Magic in a while. I have Ronin Hound Master, which costs. Two and one mountain has haste and both sheet one, which means when it this bl blocks or becomes blocky it gets plus one plus one. So it's a two two. I have insight hysteria, which costs two colorless in a mountain, and it gives radiance, which means creatures that share a color with target creature can't block this turn. So if you have a red, red creatures can't block, and white, white can't block, and so on and so forth. I also have Granite Grip, which enchanted creature gets plus one plus zero for each mountain I control. Now look up how much some of these cards are. I might have a treasure chest. And I have the legendary, the Yamazaki Brothers. Now if you never heard what these do, they have Bushido one, and when there's exactly two permanents named Brothers Yamazaki in play, the legendary rule doesn't apply, and each creature named Brothers Yamazaki gets plus two, plus two, and has haste. So you have a four, three with haste when you have two of these bad boys. One has swords, one has a spear. The Yamazaki Brothers! Now this was my favorite combo when I used to play it. I would play Homura the Human Ascendant, which when it's destroyed becomes an enchantment, Homura's Essence, which gives... Creatures I control plus two plus two and have flying and give a mountain. This creature gets plus one plus zero, and with that I would use Ryuse, the Falling Star, which set as flying. And when Ryuse falling is put into a grave from play, deal five damage to each creature without flying. So I would use this, give all my creatures flying. Then I would destroy this, deal all five damage to my opponent's monsters. Yeah. That's with that. Let's get to the whites. I'm going to save the foxes for last. Get with the non foxes. I do have some a good collection of foxes. I love the foxes. Did I? Uh, this is the worst ever. Hey, I'm trying my best. Alright. I have reciprocate. Which is a white instant. Remove tar from game target creature that dealt damage to you. 
Terashi's Grass, which destroys target artifact or enchantment. You gain life equal to mana cost. Martyr of Sands, which reveal white cards from your hand. Sacrifice Martyr, you gain three times X life. I have Resurrection, which revives. A Death Ward, which regenerates. Moth Rider Samurai, Flying Bushido 1. Arrest, which means enchanted creature can't attack or block and can't activate its abilities. Spirit and Doll, it has a spirit shadow. This creature can block or be blocked by only creatures with shadow. Hand of Honor, Protection of Black, that's a good one. And Michiko Kanda, Truth Seeker, now this one. Whenever a sorcerer or an opponent controls deals damage to you, that player sacrifices a permanent. So, really good. Chastise. I gotta retaliate. Kondas Hatamoto. I'm only gonna read the ones that sound interesting. Ooh, this one's interesting. Takeno, Samurai General. Which states Bushido 2. And each other samurai you control gets plus one, plus one for each point of Bushido it has. Demystified destroys target creature, enchantment, yeah, enchantment, and cage of hands. Enchanted creature can't attack or block. And one and zero, white, return cage of hands to its owner's hand. Now let's get to the, oh, and all strike. The next time a creature would deal damage this turn, prevent that damage. You gain life equal to the damage you prevented. Now let's get to the foxes. I have this many foxes. And there's. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Let's start with Kitsune Lore Weaver, which one costs one, and Kitsune Lore Weaver gets zero plus X until the end of turn, where X is the number of cards in hand. Then yeah, we'll go to Kitsune Bone Setter, which is it prevents three damage when you tap it. So, yeah, we have Kitsune Diviner, which taps target spirit. I just like it because it's cute. We have Kitsune Blade Master, which has First Strike in Bushido 1. We have Silverstorm Samurai, which is a fox. It says so right there, fox. can be played as an instant. We have Kitsune Healer, which prevents next one damage that would be dealt to target creature or player, and prevent all damage that would be dealt to legendary creatures. And I do have two legendary creatures here. I have probably have more. I have Kitsune Dawnblade, which is Bushido 1, and when it comes to play, you may tap target creature. I have Samurai of the Pale Curtain, which is Bushido 1, and if a permanent would be put into a graveyard, remove it from the game instead. I have Sensei Golden Tail, which is my favorite. It is my favorite, but I'll, I'm going to show you these two first. Pious Kitsune, which at the beginning of your upkeep, put a devotion counter on Pious Kitsune, then this creature, then if a creature named Eight and a Half Tails comes into play, you gain one life for each devotion counter on Pious Kitsune. Remove devotion counter from Pious Kitsune, you gain one life. And I have, I traded a whole deck for this. I'm not kidding. I did not want that deck anymore, and I wanted this card real bad. I, I'm bad at trades. I am bad at trades. Eight and a half tails. Oh yeah, eight and a half tails. It's a legendary two two with it you pay one and one planes. Target permanent you control gains protection from white until the end of turn. And you can target spell or permanent becomes white until end of turn. That counts with creatures. Yeah. Now to my favorite, Sensei Golden Tail. Bushido 1, and you get a 1 and 1 plane, and tap it, put a training counter on target creature. That creature gains Bushido 1 and becomes a samurai in addition to its other creature types. Play this ability only any time you could play a sorcery. You could turn, make an army of samurais with Bushido with this card. Sensei Golden Tail. And that is my fox deck. It may not be the best deck in the world, and I can never play it because the rules and tournaments, but I love this deck. I love my foxes. I'm going to buy sleeves for them, and now I'm going to look up their prices. So, hope you enjoy my little Magic Gathering deck. 
This is Kenny Kitsune wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah and a Happy Kwanzaa. And if you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, hit that like button and subscribe, please. It, I would appreciate it. It lets me know you enjoy my content. And as always, this is Kenny Kitsune. Bye-bye.